is poppin' peeps, your boy Xander from X4 Baseball, and welcome back to uh, the first vlog of 2022. Now, uh, let me pop this down for a minute so I can explain some things. Alright, so it is April, I think it's currently April 8th or April 9th, it's a Friday. I decided to make a vlog. Next week, we're flying out to Sarasota, Florida, or Siesta Key, Florida, wherever we're going. We got spring break, we got some games down there, playing, I think we're playing three games. So I'm going to make a vlog next weekend. But this weekend, there's a couple things I want to do. Get back into it and uh, just talk to you guys, have some fun. So do a little weekend vlog activity. I'm about to go for a drive. I have to print a couple documents out at my dad's office because we don't have a printer. So we're going to drive out there, print it off. I want to show you those documents about a hitting mentality or just an overall baseball mentality. We're going to hang it in the garage um, where we're trying to neaten everything up. Tomorrow, I'm looking to... Get my hair cleaned up. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I'm trying to go for a bit of a mullet action for the ball season. Uh, maybe get some swing action in. And Sunday, I got practice. Uh, at the end of the vlog, I'll show you some action from the baseball games. We have three games next week. I'll show you some videos, some clips from that. And it'll take us right into spring break. So I can't wait to get started. And uh, yeah, let me go print those documents. All right, so I'm in the car. I thought I would take a time to kind of fill you in on a, a, a lot of what the past two years have been. Because, I mean, it's been that long. I figure you want to know what's going on. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't really know. I don't really care if you do or either way. I'm going to tell you anyways. So last year, I made two videos. One was an infield improvement video. And one of them was some third base or sorry lights went out um third base tag plays or something like that i actually started to make a vlog i was gonna make a vlog leading into summer and i never did maybe i'll edit that together and release it or something i don't know maybe it will maybe i won't i never posted anything after that i was a freshman back then and i'm i'm a sophomore now the last time i consistently posted was eighth grade i mean i probably made three videos as a freshman and before that it was all eighth grade and seventh grade i don't quite have my license i'm so close to getting my license i can drive all over go to batting cages all kinds of stuff um, with some teammates, with some friends. We'll have a lot of fun when that happens. It's beginning of the season. We've played, what, six games so far. A lot of the season left. Spring break's still coming up. I'm hyped about everything. So let's go print off those documents, and then I'll talk to you about this mentality. up made it back to the house and uh um so i went out to my dad's office printed out these things which i'm going to kind of talk a bit of approach or a hitting approach or just an overall baseball approach talk with you guys about it kind of some things that i've picked up over the years and some things that i'm really focusing on right now Number one, mentality plus approach equals success. If you got to go in with a good mentality every game, uh, whether or not, regardless of if you're the best, go into the game saying, I'm the best out here on the field, man. I'm the best hitter on the team. You go in with that mindset, you're going to do good. And if you do do bad, just keep telling yourself that you're the best out there. If you have a good mentality, you're not going to be nervous to make mistakes. You got to have a good approach when going up to the plate. You have to have a plan. You have to know what's going on in every situation. If you have good mentality and good approach, you're going to have success. So mentality plus approach equals success. Second thing is have rhythm in the box. Don't be a statue. Don't be standing still, just clenching onto that bat like a bird clenching onto its prey. Have a loose grip on it. Have some sway. Maybe have a bit of wiggle. Loose muscles are fast muscles. You keep the muscles loose. You breathe. You relax. Your muscles are loose. You load back and swing right if you're stiff you're gonna try to muscle everything up and things aren't gonna go your way you're gonna strike out you're gonna roll over you're not gonna hit line drives loose muscles are fast muscles that breathe when you're in the box swing with the intent to harm and swing with the intent to knock somebody over you're not going up there to just throw your hands at the ball and just get me over single when i go up to the plate i'm thinking drive a baseball barrel on the ball try to kill somebody Flat out, flat out. Put the ball in my zone. I'm trying to kill somebody with that swing. A 
daddy hack, if you will. You swing with intent, you're going to do damage when you put barrel on the ball. You keep it loose, you have rhythm, you swing with intent. Put those three things together. When you make contact, you're going to drive baseballs. Make every swing your best. And if you do that, you're going to have success. Barrel to ball, gap to gap. And landing that barrel on the ball and driving a ball left center, right center, wherever it's pitched, I'm landing on the ball. Uh, 2 0 3 1 shoe box. 2 0 or 3 1, you're looking for a pitch right here, man. It's got to be in there. If it's not in there, I'm not swinging. If it's in my zone, now that might be middle in, middle away, wherever you like it. If it's in your 2 0 3 1 shoe box, Go after. Visualize success. This is big. Mental at bats. I do this a lot. I sometimes do it during class. All I'm doing is visualizing the pitcher. Picture someone in my mind who I'm hitting on. And I go through a mental at bat, imagining him throwing balls outside, fastballs in my zone that I drive, that I hit to the gap. You know, maybe I foul one off, but it's absolutely destroyed. Whatever it is, I'm visualizing that. But I always end the visualization with a double in the gap, a home run over left center, something like that, because I want to visualize that success. And final thing, best game last. Play every game like it's your best game, because it's the last one you've played up until that point. You don't know when you're not going to play anymore. You don't know when you might get injured. I've seen it where one of my friends almost, they lost their season and they got hit in the head with a ball, whatever. Lost their entire season. You don't know when your last game is going to be, so play every game like it's your best game. Those are fundamental ideas and ideals of baseball that I kind of collected over all the years that I've learned the game. I hope you took something away from these. I could probably make a video on every single one of these topics to go in more in depth, but that's just like a basic overview. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's late, so I'm gonna get to bed at some point. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Showered, ready for the day. Um, we're about to go get some, uh, do some shopping for spring break. Okay, that's coming up. Like I said, about a thousand times already. Got to do some shopping for that. Uh, bring you along. Yeah, let's go. So what's going on? Um, did some clothes shopping, got some nice beach wear, nice trunks, you already know. Got some nice shirts, whatnot. So my other brother back here got his clothes too. I'm telling him to get a mullet, but um, he don't want one. So gonna head to the old uh, barber shop, get it touched up, and then we'll go do some baseball things. Saw the light bulbs and now it's time for the moaner truth hey it's bright in here but uh only only this one's working so i'm thinking it's not the light bulbs for that one it's the actual fixture instead of just using this garage door light we have this whole entire strip of light so we can see what we're doing which is really good so uh i'm happy with that and now i'm gonna get to work cleaning out this garage a bit and cleaning some things up all right, what's going on? I did a bit of uh, work in the garage, cleaned it up a bit, the lights installed, everything. Uh, I got my friend here. He's helping me out. We're uh, installing this net. So what we're going to do, this was an old batting cage I had set up in the yard. We're going to like drill holes later, bottom of the garage. And then we're going to hook this up so when the garage opens up, like opens upward, uh, the net's just going to drop down. So I can just hit into the net without having, you know, have that tiny net and having things blocking off so I don't hit the cars. So that's what we're working on right now. All right, me and my dad finished up here. This is what we got going on. You probably can't see it. I'm gonna reverse the camera, but there's a huge net 
that spans from this like red string all the way across the garage till right here. You can see it a bit better from this angle, but we put this up, there's extra net on the floor so I can hit balls into here. And I'll, as a demonstration, I'll take this ball. Just catches the ball, like a batting cage. Now, I'm, I'm not really sure how secure it is. We're still gonna use this thing or probably get a, get a bigger one and then have it. But in case if I miss and pull off on a ball super far, it's still gonna get caught by the net. So safety precaution, that way I don't have to be nervous to swing full speed with the cars right there. I can just take daddy hacks and, and hit nukes and hit rods um, and not be scared of damaging anything. So that's really cool. All right, until tomorrow, I'll see you guys. Just got home from church and uh, just laying around ice, right ice, now because ice. I don't know what to do. suited up ready to go for practice uh, I'm sitting out in the, the van right now I'm waiting for one of my buddies to pick me up he's coming to pick me up uh, my brother at a tournament so don't have my license yet so my parents had to drive him there and my friends just coming to pick me up for practice whatever so I'll leave it about an hour one thing I need to show you that I actually made a whole video never posted it is boom right there okay that's all you get to see that's all you get to see you can pause the video go back and look at it but it's a 44 glove that I, uh, I, I bought it for my, well, I got it for my birthday, custom, insane, and I've used it for about a little over a year now, and she's a beaut, let me tell you. I need to post that video. I'm going to edit and post that video at some point, but it's immaculate. But basically, what I'm going to do now is until my friend gets here, I'm just going to lay out in the sun, get my nice tan going. So hopefully I'll be looking sexy when uh, spring break comes, man. I'm hyped about that. That's going to be such a good vlog you don't understand. Anyways, yep. What's going on? It's been a long day. Just got home from practice. Games were canceled, so we have practice instead. I got an essay to write. Bit of an essay, but... That's all right, that's all right. Gotta do what I gotta do. Um, sucks that the games were canceled this week, but it is what it is, man. But that's all I had. I was gonna show you highlights from the games, but since I don't have those, I guess I got nothing to show. Keep up to date with the channel. We're gonna have videos weekly, maybe two a week. Who knows, who knows? Make sure you subscribe and join the starting lineup if you haven't already for your X4 Baseball. Another vlog coming next week. That one's coming from Siesta Key, Florida. It's gonna be a good vlog, it's gonna be a fun vlog. So stay tuned for that, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.